Hello and welcome to This Nitty Life. This is episode 40. Uh, my name is Rachel. I'm coming to you from Leeds, West Yorkshire, where I live with my husband, my two children and my two dogs and some fish. Um, you can find me on Instagram as this underscore nitty underscore life and you can find me on Ravelry as reward. Um, I do update my projects there. I've not really kept up to date with my acquisitions and such um, stash, whatever. Um, but generally, I've had a little bit of a update in there. So thank you very much for joining me today. It has been a while. I apologise for the delay. No real reason for it, just other than a big chunk of the reason is um, probably space on my phone. Um, so I'm actually recording on um, my son's iPad because um, he doesn't take pictures, so he's got the most room. So yeah, so I'm um, coming from a very um, sunny Leeds today. It's very sunny, I've had to close the blinds. Um, Today is the 3rd of February 2023, so I think I last um, did a podcast on Yarndale, so September. So yeah, lots has changed since then. Um, we're in a new year, 2023, that's exciting, had Christmas and all of that. Um, other big life events would be, um, I left my job, um, more so I took voluntary redundancy from my job. I'd been there 15 years, so I'm currently... Um, unemployed I suppose so um have quite a bit of wiggle room in terms of um redundancy payments so I'm just kind of figuring out what to do with my little life yeah also speaking of episode 40 I turned 40 um not even last month December so yeah I'm officially um in a new decade new number at the front um we had um a night away actually um it was kind of terrible <laughs> We took the dogs. It was crazy. Anyway, yes, so that's me. Um, I have decided to do more so this podcast, this, this way of podcasting um, instead of the vlog one, just for a change, just to see kind of how it goes. Um, I was constantly recording bits and bobs and I think I might do that. I might add a few bits here and there. Um, maybe not this episode because I'm kind of keen to get it up, but I kind of forget now I was recording stuff and then I'd record loads and I'd forget and then it'd get lost and then it would go in the cloud. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so yeah, I've got a few things to show you today. Um, I, obviously there's a lot to show you, but I've condensed it so it won't be like giantly long. Um, but I do have a new FO. So this is uh, the, the Sorrel sweater. And you know what? It's on the inside out. How good's that? Hang on. <laughs> How embarrassing. Bear with. This is my popsy dress. It's got dogs on. Yeah, so it's actually, I'll hold it up. It's actually, um, it's got all the cables on here, as you can see. And then when you get to the body, you knit it inside out, which is why I've had it the other way around. So you knit it the right way around and you wear it the reverse way around. So um, the mohair I used, um, well, some of the mohair, not all of it, um, was Mr. B's yarn um and the brighter color at the top was a black elephant which i think was a one of a kind and then i faded into another black elephant which is one of my favorite colors um obviously the more hair blur um is detracting a little bit from the color and um, i did have to move over to a bit of commercial more hair which isn't quite as nice to be perfect honest it's all stuck on my lipstick and then for the sleeves i actually changed into this, which is a cashmerino merino, no, 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 a cashmere merino, which was a hedgehog one, which I had kicking about. The sleeves are a bit snug, if I'm perfectly honest, but um, I made an effort to make the sleeves longer. So yes, I'm going to sew a label in because I've got some labels kicking about. I'll put this back on. Oh, can't believe I did that. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought it was looking funny, um, but... Yeah, never mind. It is very cropped, I have to say. Um, but I do tend to um, wear dresses or dungarees, generally. So it's kind of hip, hip length. Yeah, so it is short. It's all up my nose and in my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is quite short. Um, but if I'm wearing jeans, which I very rarely do, I would wear a hoodie or a sweatshirt. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear my knitwear with them because a lot of it, sorry, it is in my eye. 
I'll just keep talking um because those are longer and don't feel comfortable in jeans um so yeah so this has been on the needles for 50 million years um yeah feels like it I think I started it in 2020 I thought it was 2021 but it was 2020 um drink a bit of that more hair yeah so it took ages I basically um got going on it was really into it really really wanted it got got distracted by about here and then my friend Carly came to visit um it's still everywhere in August and she um, finished her project and picked this up for me and kind of got me back on track figured out where I was um so she did a little bit for me and then I continued yay um so yeah, then I got a bit of a mission to kind of get the sleeves done. I knew I wanted full length sleeves. Um, so yeah, so I'm really pleased with this. And I'm, kind of, you know, naturally I'm annoyed at myself as to why I've not picked it up early. I'm sorry, I'm all so fluffy now. That was horrendous. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my big finished object um, of the year. Um, I am a little bit sad because um, I really like this at the end. I don't know if the camera quality is particularly good oh well maybe it's okay look it's got so many pops in so this is one of my favorite colors from black elephant and it looks amazing with this other yarn um and now it's like oh well i want something in this um yeah it looks amazing so yeah there we go so i've got some more finished objects as well just some little bits um so there seems to be a bit of a baby boom going on at the moment uh thankfully uh not me um my little boy um is in year two his teacher is expecting a baby and his all teaching assistant is also expecting a baby who um i'm quite friendly with i suppose and um, because they've previously taught uh, martha so i've you know i've seen them for a lot of years so um i did a bit of um stealth work and i asked one of the other teachers i was like do you know i'm looking at the wrong place do you know the gender of the baby um so i believe his teacher is having a boy and the other one is having a girl so i've gone with i've done some neutrals as well so i've got this gorgeous one so this is the magic coffee hat and this is in um an aaron so this is drops big merino just some literally some bits i had left i actually have done a wool warehouse order which i've not done for probably years and ordered some more of this because it's really nice and um i had very limited colors um, so I've ordered um, quite a lot of soft colours um, as well. Um, I don't know if that I mentioned previously. I'm, I surely I must have. Um, I became an auntie last year. So my niece is now eight months old. Um, she's gorgeous. Um, and um, they like really like beige, soft. This sage green is like their jam. So I've ordered some more of that and like some really um, soft pink. I'm really annoying myself at this for her sorry um yeah so i've done this one so it's a newborn one and then i did this one this is in um debbie bliss cash merino aaron which i found in my stash i've got a large stash and a large commercial stash which i very rarely use um to be honest but um cash merino aaron is like one of the best ones right um yeah so i did this one i think this one that looks like the second size compared to the first size yeah this one's teeny weeny this is definitely some old stash. I um, can't remember the make of this one, but you'll probably recognise it because it's uh, it's been around forever, I suppose. Um, yeah, I did have a bit of a boo-boo here because um, there were breaks in it. And I don't like to think it's moths or anything because that would be horrendous. Um, and I don't believe there's any wool in it. But um, yeah, there was a couple of breaks in it and that's just a bit of a bad join. But it's fine. So yeah, I did them. Right. Um, I also did um, a bigger hat, uh, the Magic Coffee hat again for my niece and I did that in um, this colour which I think is called marble and I put some spectrum stripes in, just three stripes and it was like a pinky, it was the peony colour, um, a pinky one with little bits of speckles, they're not bright, they're not into bright colours, I think it's probably the first pink thing she's had she never wears pink ever um and it's very minimal on the pink factor as well um but if it's really well that was the third size that was cast on i believe it goes 56 64 72 so it's a 72 one so she's one in may but by all accounts has a big head 
but it fits um it fits really nicely um i probably should they don't tend to um let me see if i can find the picture because they did send me a picture um, and i can probably show you that um because i don't have it with me anymore so there we go that's her in her gorgeous hat little cutie patootie so um yeah i just did these out and about um my um, sister's moved house recently, so she now lives in Richmond, which is in North Yorkshire. So we went up there a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just knitting the car. Um, so I got those done. And then I thought I'd um, step out of my comfort zone. I do like to knit the same pattern again and again. That's my go-to baby hat because it's really easy. I do like knitting the same pattern. So this is new to me. So this is the Beloved Bonnet. This is a tin can knit pattern. This is supposed to be... Um, newborn <laughs> but it looks really big um so you're supposed to hold um two yarns together so it is um a black elephant again just went and threw my stash and i think the other one is a steam a skiing queen which is kind of more orange it was like an orangey variegated but um with no speckles in um so that is dreamy um, I did make a few mistakes. I had to concentrate. So I sat myself in the kitchen, which is where I am now, um, and all my fake plants, to check on my fake plantery. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I sat myself in the kitchen and I got the instructions. I was like, right, so you kind of just have to, basically you start down here and then you've got to increase here. So I just kind of wanted to make sure I was doing it right. Um, and then I got a bit messed up and like, just this, there's definitely like little bits here. And like, uh, yeah, you know, like when you're supposed to like knit on the pearl side, obviously to make it garter and I just kind of got lost. I did have to frog it back a little bit because there was a big like inch and a half of um, just knitting instead of garter and it looked terrible. Um, so, yeah, thankfully, most of the mistakes are on the back. So that's the back and there are more different more mistakes on the back. Um, I think it's quite big. I'm going to try it on Theo when he gets back in from school. Um, not that he's newborn. He's nearly seven um but i think it looks big um, i'm not quite sure who this one's for yet um another exciting development um in the baby boom saga is my next door neighbors are also expecting babies which is exciting um so yeah my neighbor mel is expecting um a little girl april i think they said april and her wife is expecting a baby like three months later nine weeks nine weeks later so babies that aren't twins but are coming together so that's very exciting um yes yeah, so, so i'm knitting for them and they like bright colors so they're like oh we really don't like um like pastels or anything like baby blue baby pink like we like bright colors and i was like i am on board with that um but um Mel is having a girl, um, I think they'll find out yesterday actually, what Katie was having, so maybe I'll message them. Um, but if they're having, if this one's a girl, in April this is probably going to fit like over summer, isn't it? Although it's gigantic. Um, and then Theo's teaching assistant is also due at the end of April, I think, so I don't know where this will fit. Um, I'm not sure, and I think it's too bright for my niece. Um, another baby, it's crazy, um, one of our friends is expecting their second baby this, this month actually. Um, I'm not sure what they're having or if they know. Um, I've asked Rob to ask them but he doesn't want to ask them in case he's already been told and has just forgot. So that's wonderful. Um, <laughs> and then one of our other friends has had a baby in December, it's her third. She had a boy though. Um, She's very knit worthy, so I need to kind of I need to sort something out for her too. But yeah, this is the beloved beloved bonnet, and this is tin can knits. It's super duper cute. Uh, yeah, that was two four plies held together. So yeah, they're all my finished objects. Feeling a little bit chuffed with myself. I don't feel like I've finished anything in ages. Um, I've got um some new cast ons as well. Um, so I'll bring this one. This is in my beautiful beautiful bag got this for Christmas the year before so this is um so delicious so beautiful matches my tattoo which you can't see it's not my jumper so um I am in um a knit group 
um, which meets every other Saturday. I can't often get to it because my husband tends to work Saturdays. Um, one week it's on in the morning, one week it's one in the afternoon. So um, occasionally I've taken the kids to the afternoon one and kind of just like, I took an iPad for Theo, took, took something for Martha, but it's not, it's not ideal. Um, but sometimes I do it. But um, the, the last one I managed to, if the kids were away, I think they were at my mum's house. So um, yeah, so what we did is on Boxing Day, we had a Zoom call, um, which is what obviously we did through the pandemic um, in terms of meeting, which was great because loads of people, loads of people could come. Um, so now it's quite limited because obviously Saturdays are busy. Um, and we all decided to do um, a knit along. So we've picked uh, the Penguono, which is a Stephen West pattern. Um, which has been on my radar for a long time um, but it's really nice that everyone's knitting it too so I'll show you it's quite I've done quite well I was definitely on a mission oh, hang on this is the next bit dee, 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 dee. Um, that's like this bit here okay that's big and it's full of loads of yarn and yes there's lots of ends lots and lots of ends um, so um, I originally started to hold it, um, a lot of it's held double. I originally was going to, after looking at loads and loads on Ravelry, I'm like, oh, what kind of colours do I want? Because I know I like bright colours and fun colours, but it's like, oh, what should I do? And I thought, well, this might be a great way to use a lot of my neutrals. So I do have lots of neutrals, um, like creamy bases with pops of colour in. Um, and I thought, well, that might be fun with like the majority of it uh, neutral but with like pops in here and there and um, that kind of went out the window when I saw my friends and um, my friend Fazana is um making two for her daughters um who are kind of similar age to my kids and um theirs are like bright pink amazing and I'm like oh, I want mine to be fun so it's changed <laughs> so it started off it's really hard to hold so it started off look this is quite this is what I mean by neutral <laughs> neutral and then I added some bobble and then I faded into this, which I kind of maybe regret. I think I probably should have stayed with that. So you're supposed to knit this bit all in a seed stitch, but no, 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 no. Did not want to do that. So I knit it in just stocking stitch because it's a flat panel and I'll wear it this way out. Um, so the sides are the same. So next you then pick the welts up. Um, these ones are better. Um, so no idea what they are. A spectrum and a spectrum, I think, mushed together there, um, definitely held together. And um, this gorgeous pink one here is that is definitely a spectrum and a king fibers. This purple one, gorgeous, um, is a bit of um, Hulocco, which is an American one. Um, my friend went to her um, shop barn when she was uh, visiting her family over there. That's that with the spectrum. <laughs> And then you head over here and pick these bits up. Um, so these are DK, they're not held together. And they are both Spectrum. That did that bit wrong, never mind. And then, this bit's weird. And then, I can't give away any magic ingredients because it's hard enough when you're following the pattern. And then you then go this way up. So you kind of have to like cast on and then knit up. Um, I'll tell you a story about that in a bit. And that is, what are you? I think that is some quite deep stash actually. Um, I can't remember the name. It was a George's Marvel. One of her favourite colour the colourways was George's Marvelous Medicine. And I remember knitting socks on my way home to EYF, the Edinburgh Festival, obviously years ago. Golding yarns, I think. One of the one of hers mixed with something else. Um, this is the next cream one. So then we go here and we cast on up here. So these are the sides and this is the front. Uh, this is called Wiggle My Big Toe, I believe, um, by Dye Candy. That's in just DK. Um, and this purple is a Spectrum one. This is a Dye Candy one. So then we're decreasing down here. And this is that uh, same pink as the welt, so that the king fibres held with, I don't know, something yummy. Something yummy. And again, um, this um, purple is that Hugh Loco held with the Yushitita singles. So yeah, that's awesome. So it goes like this, this is the back, then this is the like underarm, and then that's the front. But in my wisdom, because like it's a bit crazy, 
I cast this bit on the wrong way for this side. I've fixed it now so that they are identical. A lot of them aren't, but basically this bit was this way around and it was completely wrong. We, um, I took it to Knit Group and they did say like, oh, well, we can try and cut it and then Kitchener it back on because it's, it's a substantial amount of knitting. Um, but I thought, oh, right, it's fine. Let's just take it off. So I just frogged it all, which was quite painful, but it only took me a couple of days to catch back up because, you know, I'm a lady of leisure now. <laughs> um, yeah, so they are absolutely, totally scrummy. So the next bit is this little flappy bit. And that, I believe... There's something up here. I think that bit goes. I thought it was tricky to all. I really probably need to sit and sew my ends in. Hang on. So if that, yeah, so it kind of goes like this. Can you see that? Yeah. And then that flappy bit is, I believe, like a top shoulder seam. Um, there is a bit that goes in the bottom because it does look very short at the minute. But yeah, so um, I've paused on this because um, I was thinking it probably needs blocking. Um, and it's large in terms of, um, yeah, like I need to get the mats out and stuff. And obviously, it's, it's not warm at all, is it? Um, it's been wild and windy this week. This week has been crazy for wind. Crazy. And as a litter picker, it's very stressful. Um, I took the dogs out the other day and they could barely walk in it. It was nuts. Wilma just went crazy. Um picking up all the leaves that are behind me. It was Peggy's birthday two days ago as well. Peggy's now two. Um, she's a floofy, floofy, floof. Now she's really fuzzy despite having a haircut. It's probably two months ago now. But anyway, yeah, so um, that needs... Um, what I'll probably do is the next step, I would say, is to sit and put all my ends in. Um, so that's probably going to be an audiobook situation because I can't, I can't do just one thing at once. Or normally two things, normally this would be three. Three is normally the magic number. Um, yeah, so yeah, I need to sit and do that, and then it needs blocking, and then I'll figure out how to do these shouldery bits. But it's not hugely, hugely far from being done. So this is like the colour maps that he gives you, so you can see where you're going with everything. Um, and then on the back. So I'm doing like 10 and 12 now, um, and then I guess you go to 11 and you do the sleevey bit, and um, um, oh, and then 12, which is the other thingy bit, and then the 13, yeah. So it's just basically the sleeves and the bottom bit. Um, so that's not hugely far off. So um, yeah, I'll have a little see where everyone's up to with that. What I'm trying to do is um, tidy these up as I go because, um, oh, I'm a messy person. Messy, messy, messy. Um, so let's put this in here. I have got all of the yarns in here. Um, I've got loads of the yarns in here actually. A lot of them are just spectrum yarns. Beautiful. Yep, so that's that and that's sitting in there. Right, yeah, so that was um, a Christmassy cast on. So speaking of Christmas, um, I did start one of my advent projects, so I got three advents this year. I got a Spectrum one, which is a 12 days of Christmas one, which I did split with my bestie Carly, so we only got 10 grams each. Um, I've started a hitchhiker in that. We actually did that in November. We started it in November because um, we knew we had other advents come in, and the intention <laughs> was to knit it in November, and then it'd be done. And then it hasn't quite worked out that way. Um, Spectrum did have... And maybe still has she does yes um pre-orders up for her advent i think her ad she she did some more of her advents i think they've all sold out i very nearly got another one no impulse control but i resisted i resisted um but because <laughs> it was christmas and my birthday five days apart no less um i got um quite a lot of vouchers for my birthday and christmas um so i bought um a garment quantity of my favourite colour from the advent. So she had the advents for sale in sock and DK, and then she had all of the colours available on full skeins. So I think it was day eight, which is my favourite. I've not brought it with me the little bit. They are on pre-order and currently she's not very well. So I hope you get better soon, Bryony. So you can give me my yarn. <laughs> um, yeah, she's not very well. She's got COVID. 
So, um, yeah, so I think they're up now. I'm not quite sure how long, long they'll be up for, but um, yeah, they're, they're available now. So um, in this um, little Wilma bag, so this is my little, this is the kind of dogs I've got, Cavaliers. So this is what Wilma looks like. She doesn't look like anything like this, but these are the colours. And then Peggy's all brown. You can probably hear them snoring. They've been very good. Um, so um, the ad other advents I got, so I got Spectrum, I got the Castleview Yarns, which is my lovely friend Jen, of course, um, and I got um, Hutch's Dye Candy. Um, so I got the te the DK on um, Hutch's, Hutch's, she's called Lindsay, but everyone calls her Hutch. Right, so this is how this is doing. So this is the Sophie Shawl. Patterns in there, I'm trying to get better with my patterns. Who makes this? It's quite a well-known one, isn't it? The Sophie Shawl. I think it's like the hitchhiker of um, our time. Oh, Petite Knit. Yeah. It's a petite Knit. Um, I think there's a skinnier one or a four-ply one, four one or something that I bought by accident. Um, but yeah, so it starts off here and then you increase. I feel like it should be wider by now. I feel like I've not paid enough attention um, to it. I feel like it should be wider, so it's kind of going with like a flat bottom and then it goes up. So basically what her advent did was um, there was no like, I just kind of trusted her. There was no like, you know, how often people have mood boards and stuff, which I think are really important um, because you don't know what you're getting. And I said like beforehand, like, is it going to be a fade? What's it going to be? So I can try and plan. Um, and it's like it's kind of a fade. So it is kind of a fade. So I think it does pretty much fades. I faded them in, faded them in. Um, and then there's a flash, splash of colour. Um, and then there's more fades and then another pop of colour. So um, I think the rest of them are still upstairs. So yeah, so I'm in this greeny colour and then I get lighter and lighter. Where do you fit in? Mm, yeah. So I think there's a pop missing. So um, that's the orange that I've just done. And the next one, I can't, I can't remember what they all are, to be honest. Um, but I've got them all upstairs. Um, they were on the back of the door throughout Christmas. But um, they're in, like, you know, the um, cardboard sleeve from an advent. So I had to make your own advent as well that I put um, one of them in, Jen's in. And then I put it on the door one. So it's like, there's still the inner, so it's all the boxes. So they are in the right days. So I've put, like... Castle View and a die candy in. So they are in the right days, but these are the colours that are coming up next. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, I've not really progressed a huge amount on that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've not done, although it looks like I've done a lot of knitting, I don't feel like I've done a huge amount. I've been very kind of struggling with my focus quite a lot lately. I have to say, I'm feeling quite kerfuffled with the whole not having a job thing. And whilst I'm financially okay to not have a job for a little bit, it's strange. So now I'm like 40 and unemployed, not knowing what to do with my life. So I am a wee bit lost, <laughs> I have to say. I've been helping more in the school. I did some uh, volunteering. I'm a school governor of my children's school. Um, so that does keep me busy. And um, like all December, I was in there doing stuff like Christmas, winter fair, sorry, stuff and actual governor stuff, um, which isn't as fun as the PTA stuff which we don't have anyway and then I helped in reception a little bit and I really enjoyed that um, I am looking at potentially doing a teacher training course um, I've been to the college and I've um, spoken to them um, so I did I did email school actually and say like you have to do a certain amount of hours in a school could I do it in a school yeah because it, yeah it feels very strange not working and not earning and like what you do with your day like I don't think I can just sit and knit um, but anyway, yeah, so some days are better than others, swings and roundabouts, um, trying to walk the dogs more and get them out and yeah, so I feel a bit lost is probably a word, listless, is that a good word too? Um, yeah, so I don't feel like I've got, I've made the progress I should have made, but you know, there's no knitting place, is there, um, other than me and my own mind, Blech. which isn't a fun place. <laughs> Right, so um, this was kindly um, bought to me, bought to me, bought for me um, from um, my good friend in Scotland. She went to, I think she went to the Perth show. 
can't remember, there's no tag on it as who makes it, but my friend Rebecca got me this, which is super duper kind of her. But I couldn't just leave it, it's so cute. Um, okay, I've got two more whips for you and then a little bit of acquisitions and then that'll probably do. So this one is in this beautiful bag. This is, this is why you should put tags on your bags. Tags on your bags. Um, oh Lord, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did bring the picture of the pattern. Sure I did. This has just come out, so I jumped on it. Oh, look at this. This is Well of Grows, and this is by um, Telly Bean Knits. So she does um, quite a lot of patterns. Like I know she did like a cowl um, shawl for like Halloween. They tend to come out quite near the event. So now we're, this I think this came out the 1st of February. So technically it's like a Valentine's Day hat and obviously that's in less than two weeks now. Um, and I, I recall her Halloween one coming like just a bit too late to actually produce for the time of year. Yeah, so this and I really like her colours. They were re they're really nice. There's some, there's some unravelry that are different. They're really rainbowy, really bright and fun. So I'll show you what I've done. So I started this yesterday. So um, some days I'm very productive with my knitting and some days I'm just not at all. So this is how far I've got. So I started this yesterday, so I'm actually quite pleased with myself. So um, it took all day to do the rib because I was trying to do 10 things at once. Um, Martha did get sent home poorly yesterday from school. So she was there, but she wasn't causing a problem. She's also in the living room now. But she wasn't like, I wasn't doing anything. She was just lying on the seat. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted to do the similar, similar colours, but I didn't have like a baby pink that didn't have pinky red speckles in. And obviously the whole point of colour work is contrast, high contrast. Um, so I picked this um, bluey colour, which I think is Beehive. Beehive Beth at Beehive Yarns. Um, and then the red I'm using are bits of Castleview Yarns from um, the My Dear sweater that I did a couple of years ago. And then I believe that the grey that I'm just starting on is Rainbow Heirloom. So it's a DK hat. Um, I think it's just two colours at once, which is good because I hit three colours. But I did all this last night. I can believe it. Look, my first little cute heart. So yeah, I'm just heading into uh, that creamy bit now. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe how much I got done. Like, it's it's mad how it swings and roundabouts. Um, yeah, focus and then not focused and yeah I watched um I watched a podcast yesterday actually um yeah so yesterday while I was casting this on I caught up with my lovely friend Franny Do I've made a new friend that's all awesome something that's happened and um, my friend is called Fran uh, I have another friend called Fran and my kids are like whoa my other friend Fran isn't happy that I've got a new friend Fran so she um has a Franny Do Makes podcast uh, which I've been watching and like we chatted on Instagram a bit and we've met up in real life um, a couple of times. She didn't kill me. It was great. And I just went to Costa for a coffee. Well, not coffee, obviously, because it's me. I went for hot chocolate and uh, yeah, that, that's been really good. But um, yes, yeah, so I caught up with her latest podcast and I think we went back on 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 some old podcasts, actually. I watched one yesterday when it was like that crazy, crazy hot bit in summer and she's like, nearly melting it's hilarious um and she's still trying to podcast bless her so yeah i watched that yesterday um so that was really good and then i noticed that my good friend jen of castleview and do i always introduce her like that my good friend jen jen um of castleview also dropped an episode what so that was exciting so um i started that yesterday and i finished it today and um, i also watched the other night uh, the lonely knitter she's kind of relaunched her podcast now her babies are at school and nursery um, she's kind of relaunched her podcast. Oh, and um, another, speaking of relaunches, um, I used to watch a podcast when like podcasts were crazy um, called The Knitting Broomstick uh, and she was called Jilly. And yeah, I always watched her and she, oh, she had loads of gorgeous stuff. She always knitting socks, always like fandom things like Harry Potter and this, that and the other. She always had gorgeous like progress keepers like the, what are they called? The American ones, you know, like and it's a little... You know what I mean? Can't think of the name anyway. Um, but then she was expecting her sixth child and um, the baby had lots of health complications and they didn't know if the baby would survive. So she stopped um, She stopped podcasting 
for a while and now she's back the baby's now three um so yeah so it's great so that's jilly so her new one is called mom of six stitches i believe and um, so it's not knitting broomstick anymore so i think it's mom of six six stitches um so yeah so i caught up with her she's got three episodes so i watched them all back to back yesterday that was great um yeah i was looking after martha um, and then I did a big dog walk to make up for it. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how this is coming along. So yeah, that's super good. So I would like to get that done like a lickety split. Um, yeah, won't go with my coat. My coat's purple, won't go with my coat. But never mind, I've got many coats, it's fine. Yeah, so that is um, hanging out in there. Right, I've got one more cast on, um, which is uh, cast on and acquisition, these are new yarns which I've not wrote the dye down. Do not adjust your screen. These are very, very neon and awesome. So this is, I got at Yarndale. This is Botanical Yarns Neon. Uh, there's another one behind me. And this is a new... Let me see if I can find it because I'm on my phone. Um, this is by uh, Molten Yarns. It's a hot pink. Molten Yarns on Etsy um yeah the hot pink so i've got two of them and i've got two of these so i have started a love note because why not um yeah this is how far i've got to literally cast it on this morning um while i was watching jen's episode how fun's that so that's amazing love it um i wear my love notes all the time i've got loads of them um I've been doing some, I do have some love, loveless known, love, loveless love knots where they don't have the lace on. I do like the lace. Um, so yeah, so this is scrummy, scrummy and I'm enjoying that. Um, Sophie, who is um, the dyer of Botanical Yarns, um, is the lady who hosts Yorkshire Yarn Fest. So she obviously did um, virtual ones all through COVID, which were a huge help to everyone. Um, and there is, they still continue actually, they're a bit smaller now. Um, but there is a real life one at the beginning of March, third and fourth, fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, something like that. Um, and that is held in York. Um, I think the Saturday might be sold out, but um, the Sunday is there and there's classes and Vera, Vera Valamaki is teaching. So that's exciting. Um, I've not actually got tickets yet, but I plan to, but I'm not quite sure when, childcare, dog wear, dog wear, dog wise. So yeah, so that is um, what's going on there. Um, I have had many acquisitions. Um, I've just grabbed a couple down because I was going to cake them up. Um, naturally at Spectrum. So this I um treat yourself. This is called Slumber. I do have three of these. Um, I thought it just looked really kind of spring like, and super duper fun. Um, so um this was a from me to me Christmas present. So I kept them for ages and I opened them on Christmas Day. Um, because why not? Um, yeah, so they're super gorgeous. I did get a, a, a few other ones with them, if I'm honest, but with a big splurge. Um, but they are totally, totally gorgeous. So yeah, that's kind of all that's occurring uh, now. Um, I got these new trainers, which are, happen to be in front of me. These are Popsy, which is the same make as my dress. Amazing. You get two different um, sets of laces and you get to pick which one. So obviously the white looks better, I think. And you get um, insoles as well, um, depending on your foot shape. Um, but yeah, they've just arrived. I used, um, got birthday money off, not birthday money, Christmas money from Rob's parents. Um, so I bought these and I got um, a wrap top from Popsy as well, which goes with some of the skirts that I bought. Um, also for my birthday, I got these. So these, these rings. Um, so this is um, a new to me make. So fall down uh, it's called Qdo so it's Q U D O so I used to do phonics <laughs> Q U D O um, and basically you can um unscrew the tops and um change the tops out so um I've got a few tops I've got a, a blue one and a green one upstairs so I tend to change them depending on what I'm wearing actually um and I got um what's technically a space ring but kind of an eternity ring as well which is all diamondy diamondy um, that's upstairs and um, my wedding rings aren't quite fitting at the minute um, so I've got these just to jazz them up but I absolutely love them uh, they're super duper fun yeah they're supposed to be like one stacked 
um, but there's a little independent shop uh, near me that um, stocks them actually. So the rings are only about £22 and the tops vary from 21 to, I don't know, 38 for a big jazzy one. Um, yeah, but I totally love them. They come in silver gold and rose gold. And I've had my nails done recently, can you tell? Absolutely love them. Yeah, um, you probably know if you've watched previous episodes, I've always done my nails myself really, but um, I'm terrible for picking it off and I basically like trashed my nails. So I had them done just before Christmas. So they'd last for Christmas and my birthday um, because I'd like got them in a state and then they put this thing called hard, hard gel on them. And then I picked that off and that was really bad. Um, and they were really thin. So I was supposed to get them taken off um, when I had them done on Monday, but I ended up just getting another colour on. And I love them. And she's really reasonable price wise. Um, I know that uh, my mum's got a caravan in Beedale and Beedale's like extortionate for nails. She's like, you can't get any anything under £50, which was insane. Like, just a, cause it's a posh little village, I guess. Or is it? Anyway. All right. So we are approaching the 40 minute mark. It's now 20 past one. Um, I've left my child in the living room. I did give her a bath and a hair wash and a little bit of a try and feel better -ness. Um, So I think it's time for some lunch now. Um, before, and then sort the dogs out. Yeah, so thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, what I did notice the other day is um, Martha's really into YouTube, obviously, because she's nine. Um, and she went on my channel and um, she's like, look at your subscribers, mummy. And I'm like, what? So my subscribers have always been pretty low. They always have. Um, it's been about 2.50 for ages and ages and ages. And I've not looked because I've not been podcasting, so I've not really looked. Occasionally I look to see if there's any comments, but I just hadn't clocked it. And when I looked yesterday, it was like 400 and something. And I'm like, whoa, where do they come from? But I have had, um, over the past couple of months, I guess, a couple of people messaging me on Instagram saying, oh, I'm watching your back and back, ca back catalogue and really enjoying it. Um, and you know it's really motivating me to do this that and the other or about this because he suggested it and then comments have been so nice that um yeah i decided yesterday i was like right let's go and get this done um let's get it recorded and um see if there's any interest in it still i suppose um i've been enjoying podcasts again because i think they did kind of tip off for a while um but yeah i've been enjoying it this one is quite long i apologize it was meant to be shorter um i endeavor to make them shorter and more frequent um We'll go with months month and then see kind of how we got on um i've got an awful lot of projects that i need to sort through whether i'm gonna um keep knit a frog loads and loads i've frogged quite a few already actually but yeah so yeah so that's me so this is the sorrel sweater by woolen pines i love it it's very very fluffy though i do like the neckline though because you can't see obviously i've got a dress on but you, i don't think you'd be able to see a t-shirt under there which sometimes like if i've got a busy t-shirt on it's a bit I don't mind being a bit much that's fine that's who I am that's not a problem but yeah I think it looks really good so uh yeah I'm gonna go and um sort Martha Moo out in there and um keep going on my love note uh, the love note doesn't normally start with the rib actually um you're supposed to go on and add it after I don't like doing that so I just start with the initial amount that you're supposed to have um because I think it starts with like knit four rows um so I just start with that number can't remember what number it is um, I actually think I ran out of wool when I was casting it on, so I'm totally looking in the wrong place. I'm really sorry. Over here, Rachel. Over here. Um, so, um, yes, I'm going to need to do some increases and then some um, jiggery porkery. So I'm going to endeavour to move all of my stuff that I've just piled here um, because I worked really hard yesterday on clearing the kitchen table, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was, um, you know, it wasn't as bad as it's been because I'm I am attempting to keep up with it. But yes, I'm going to call it a day there. And um, Martha really wants to edit the video and I said that I tend not to because it takes time and stuff. So I don't know whether she might kind of try and do me some sort of introduction or something. So if there's anything that's a bit odd, <laughs> I would like an introduction. That would be great. Like a little thing at the start. That would be great. If she can hustle me up, something like that, that would be lovely. But um, we will see. I might see if I can get her to take some finished object pictures of this while um, I'm reasonably made up um that would be good yes right so thank you very much for watching again I'm on Instagram as this underscore nitty underscore life um and yeah Ravelry I am reward on Ravelry so um 
feel free to follow me in those places um i'd love to know what you've been in this year what have you got your eye on if you go into any shows i love all the comments and the interaction um what what you plan on making what have you got the needles have you had a jumper on the needles for three years how many whips have you got all of that stuff um i'm well into double figures but yeah let me know and let me know what's going on and um yeah i'll be back soon as soon as life allows it is half term yeah i won't be back before half term because that's next week and then the week after is half term. So probably after half term is my intention. And I'll see what I've got for you. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.